It was 2 a.m. and I had just been awoken by that dreaded iPhone alarm clock. You know that noise that I'm talking about, that horrible little jingle that gives us the creeps, that haunts us. And I had to be to work for 2.30 a.m. So instead of staying in bed and letting that fucking noise destroy me, I hopped out of bed, turned my alarm off, didn't press the snooze button because I'm not a little bitch, went to the bathroom and got into a freezing cold shower. I was determined to win my morning. I drove to work that day with a smile on my face. It's 2.30 in the morning. I pull up to work and I'm excited. I'm happy. Everybody else around me, all my quote unquote friends were asleep, but I was making money and I was fucking excited, bro. I had just dominated my morning. And that is the first thing that you must do every single day. You've probably heard this saying before, but when you win the morning, you win the day. And back then, back when I worked for FedEx, I was working those night shifts, bro. I can't tell you how good it felt to literally wake up that early, get in a cold shower, make my black coffee, and then drive to work, bro. And then start my shift, load boxes. I was like, it was basically a workout too, because I was moving my body around. Like, cannot tell you how good it fucking felt. And at the same time, like I said, I'm up making money while everybody else is asleep. So here's how you win your morning. You wake up early. This is so simple, bro. Just wake up a little bit earlier. Next, you take a cold shower. I know they suck, but guess what? You are building your discipline, right? It sucks to get in that cold water. I don't want to do it. I dread it every single morning, but guess what? I do it anyway. It embodies what self-improvement is all about. You experience the pain now to then experience the pleasure later. Because guess what? When you get out of a cold shower, you cannot feel bad. You feel so happy and good. I'm telling you right now, I have like the best high feeling from getting out of a cold shower. Better than I ever had from smoking weed back in the day. A better high than smoking weed. All from just pushing myself to get into a freaking cold shower. You wanna level up your mind? You wanna level up your discipline? Do them. And that discipline skill that you are now leveling up will transfer over to other areas of your life. Maybe now you'll be able to go four days without relapsing on no fat. Maybe now you'll be able to go to the gym easier without all this resistance like, uh, I don't wanna go, I'm fucking lazy. Level up your mind, get in that cold water and you won't fucking regret it. That's like the best way to win your morning. If you're not gonna wake up early, at least wake up and hit a cold shower. The next thing that I would do is I would go to work with just black coffee. And I still do this to this day. I would not eat in the morning and I don't eat in the morning to this day. I intermittent fast and then I get straight to work. Because when you work on an empty stomach, you're like a freaking machine. You're not digesting all those shitty carbs, whatever you ate for breakfast, you're not digesting, so you're just mentally sharp. At the same time, if you got full balls, cause you're not, duh, you got full balls in an empty stomach, bro, you are a fucking machine, you're a killer. You're ready to attack your day. That to me is how you win your morning and that is what I do every single morning. And it started back when I worked at FedEx back in 2020 when I started self-improvement. That's how I started to win my mornings and win my days. So win your morning and you win your day. The next thing that you want to do every single day is meditate. Now there's gonna be like 50 people who are like, oh Matt, but I already fucking meditate. It doesn't do shit. You've done it once, maybe twice. Meditation takes a long time to see results. Imagine being able to talk to someone without thinking about whatever bullshit you're thinking about, without thinking about the next hub video you're gonna watch, without thinking about dinner, without thinking about that booty cheek you just saw in class. No, you're fully present. You're mindful. Mindfulness is a skill that they will not teach you in school, that doctors will not tell you about because they don't make any money. Nobody makes money. They would rather prescribe you pills to cure your shitty mental health than to teach you about mindfulness. Meditation is the fastest and easiest way to level up your mindfulness. Download this app called Oak and set that timer for five minutes. Sit in your chair, sit in a comfortable position, back straight and breathe. <sighs> Focus on your breath. Every time your mind goes elsewhere, you bring your attention back to the breath. And if you do this for five minutes every single day, you will see a drastic improvement over the course of three months, six months, a year in your mental health, in your ability to stay present. You know those guys who when you're talking to them, they're literally just AFK. This used to be me, right? I would be talking to someone and I wouldn't even care what they were saying. I would just be waiting for them to finish talking so that I could then speak. Those are the worst kinds of people, bro. I used to be like that. I used to talk to my mom and not even be present with her. Talk to my girlfriend and not even be present with her. My past relationships. I'd just be overthinking about random bullshit. So when you meditate, you cultivate that skill to actually be mindful, be in the present moment. And you become fun to talk to. You become more attractive. People actually enjoy being around you because you're this guy who is not just there overthinking. No, you're just more confident. And you're cool and you're collected. Oh, those guys fucking suck, bro. The ones who just like, when you're talking to them, you can tell that they are just not even listening. They're just waiting for you to shut the fuck up so that they can start speaking. Those are the worst types of people. Definitely they do not meditate. They 100% do not. I'm begging you, bro. Five minutes a day and just stick with it. And you don't even have to do it in the morning. It can be part of your morning routine. That's another way to win your morning, I guess. But me personally, I do it after work, later on in the day, just to kind of reassess, de-stress, focus on my breath, be in the moment, all of that shit. So you can do it whenever you want. You can do it before bed, whenever. But just take the time to do it. You will see a noticeable difference in your ability to stay present. Overall mental health.
With that said, the third thing that you must do every single day is workouts, and specifically weightlifting, specifically getting your ass in the gym and pumping out some reps with that barbell. The barbell is going to be your best friend. I turned the barbell into my best friend because I wanted to get strong. Don't you want to be strong, bro? Aren't you tired of being weak and literally not having any muscle? I was. Me personally, I was tired of it. I said, you know what? As a man, I should have a body that I'm proud of. I should be strong and capable. I should be able to look in the mirror and be like, damn, okay, I look sexy. You want that too, bro. I know you do. So you have to weight lift. You have to get in the gym and fucking push yourself. Lift heavy daily. I don't care about overtraining. Oh man, what about overtraining, bro? Shut the fuck up. You're a young man. I trained six to seven days a week when I first started. And if I was only training six, the seventh day, you better believe I was fucking in my room doing push-ups at least a hundred that day because I didn't want to slack. I wanted to keep going, keep making progress towards building a physique. Work out, bro. These three habits are so simple, but how many guys do you know that actually do all of these? Not many, but guess what? We have a brotherhood discord where I guarantee at least maybe a thousand are on this path and are doing all three of these habits daily and they are seeing the same results that I have seen. They are leveling up, they are making progress and they are building that fucking sexy physique that you desire. They are improving their mental health so that way they can actually speak to people and be present in the moment and get rid of that social anxiety. So join that, first link in the description. At the same time, if you wanna to talk to me, speak with me one-to-one -one directly, there's also a link in the description for you to do that. I hope this video helped. I know it's like, oh, just a little basic, few little habits. Bro, habits are compounding, they're simple, but if you do them every single day over the long run, the amount of progress you will make is insane. Do not underestimate these little habits. If you're gonna be the guy that just says, ah, oh, yeah, that's stupid, meditation is fucking dumb, uh, I don't need to work out, I'm already strong enough. All right, bro, why are you watching my videos then? Seriously, why are you watching my videos? Get on your shit, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.